Hi, I'm Tori Brady from the Exploratorium Teacher Institute and I'm going to show you today a model of our amazing immune system and the players in it, many of the players in it, and um, how our immune system is working 24-7 to keep us from being overcome by pathogens, um, enemies of our, our homeostasis that uh, come in the form of bacteria, viruses, and other things like this. Okay, here's my cast of characters. In our innate system, the system that works 24-7 without any special to-do, we have macrophages. I made mine out of a sock. <laughs> it made it, I didn't do anything. I activated it. That's what's important, that it be activated. And there's our macrophage. Big eater, eats up things. Then the all important antigen presenting cell, the dendritic cell, also made out of a sock with a few little projections sewn on because that's why it's called dendritic cell. It has these dendrite-like projections. And that's the one that presents to the helper T cell and activates T cell. There we go, there's our dendritic cell. Also part of our innate system, the system that we all have without any special to do. Now we have the parts of our uh, adaptive system that has to be turned on by specific pathogens and by being having something presented to it by macrophage or particularly a dendritic cell. We have the helper T cell, which conducts the entire um, battle after it enters and goes into the adaptive system. Killer T cells, which will uh, attack and destroy cells that are infected with viruses or cancerous cells. Uh, my cell, these cells are just made out of foam that I got at the yardage store and cut and labeled with a marking pen. Then we have our B cells, the B cells are what make the antibodies. We have millions of different antigen-specific B cells. You have to activate the specific B cell for that specific pathogen. And so I have three B cells that I've made out of foam, and it has to be kind of thick, and I put them, made them different colors so that they would represent um, uh, antigen-specific. So these would be specific to green dots, blue dots, red dots. And then if you cut, if you cut little slits in your, in your foam, you can put antibodies in there. Let's see, I think I use my antibodies that come out when the, when the um, B cell is activated are actually made out of, um, that's just peppercorns that I stuck in the slits that I cut in the foam B cells. Okay, and my antigens. <laughs> my antigens or pathogens are bacteria and I just made them specific. Color, those are styrofoam balls. I colored to make them specific to the B cells. And viruses are much smaller than bacteria, even this is not to scale, but it's just to give you an idea. The viruses are just some kind of colored something I got at a fabric store. You can have fun at a fabric store. <laughs> this is a good excuse. And then my body, my body environs, you can see what that is. My squirt bottle, very important. The way the cells of the immune system communicate is that they give off a chemicals called cytokines. These chemicals are very important because they, the way the cells communicate with each other, the um, dendritic cells give off cytokines and the helper T cells give off cytokines. The cytokines the helper T cells give off alert killer T cells and B cells that they better start working. So that's just a spray bottle. This here represents the body. And um, I'm going to make a little in our body. We, our body's protected by our skin, largely. And I'm going to make a little area in the body that's going to be, represent a lymph node right there. And so in the lymph node are various players that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. <laughs> They're just kind of waiting around, kind of waiting. Well, something is going to happen. There's a break in the skin. Dun, dun, dun. And microbes are invading. Bacteria, tiny little viruses are coming into our body. Uh-oh, something needs to be done. So the first line of defense is from a kind of cell called macrophage. It's a, it means big eater. And macrophages are always kind of skulking around looking for invaders. And when they find one, they gobble them up, and then they, they show a little 
bit of the outside, the membrane of the outside of the invader, and they go around and they make their way to the lymph node to tell the, um, the T cells and B cells they found something. That's a macrophage. Another cell that's even more useful in alerting our um, immune system that there's something going on is called a dendritic cell, but it has long um, projections on it that are called uh, that are like dendrites and so it's called dendritic cell and this turns out to be a really important antigen presenting cell a cell that shows the adaptive immune system which is our T cells and the B cells that they better start working so the dendritic cells are in our tissues and they're circulating around and they're going around and this dendritic cell goes around and it finds something and it, it's a phagocyte so it eats it up displays a piece and goes into the lymph node. Okay, so now the dendritic cell is in the lymph node and it's looking around for T cells and it finds a helper T cell. This is a killer T cell, it has a different function I'll talk about in a minute. Here's a helper T cell, T4, very important. The dendritic cell goes, <clears throat> do you like this? Does this appeal to you? Now, we have millions of different kinds of helper T cells, one, one available for any kind of pathogen that would possibly come. If this helper T cell recognizes this path pathogen, the pattern of it, it gets turned on. And when it gets turned on, the helper T cell goes and, and broadcasts cytokines all over the body. Broadcast these cytokines that bring B cells to it, saying, what's up, what's up? And he goes, the helper T cell goes, be alert for this. Does this match any of you guys? So the B cells then do a group group. Nope, not me. Not me. Oh, perfect. This B cell gets turned on and it starts putting out antibodies. The antibodies attach themselves, thousands of them, to the pathogen, the bacteria, and the pathogen is disabled. So then a macrophage coming around loves to eat those disabled cells. Mmm, looks good. Eats it up, displays a little piece of the outside, displays it, comes around, sees other B cells and T cells, and the whole cycle happens over again until there, these bacteria are, are completely destroyed by the antibodies that have been activated by the dendritic cell telling the helper T cell or um, disabled also by, by the innate system eating them up because they're invaders. Okay, killer T cells, another kind of a cell that's in here. Killer T cells recognize cells that, your own cells that have been taken over by a virus and, or have become cancerous. And killer T cells will go and, and inject a kind of a poison into the cell that makes the cell die. That's what killer T cells do. They also need to be turned on though. And they're turned on by the helper T cells. When the helper T cells spits out this stuff, the killer T cell knows I need to go to work and find out if there's cells that are infected with this organism that is this pathogen that's circulating in the body. So that's happening all the time. That's our amazing immune system. Very simplified. Mm. Okay. <laughs>